The fish looks like a bat that I'm cooking. Look at a beautiful silhouette. That is nice. Look at that. It's like this. My tail is breathing fire. Look at that. Mm. Tail is breathing fire. Mm -hmm. oh. I think that was a bite. Oh yeah, that's a bite! It's a Maki Boom Bites on! Oh yeah! Oh! Oh yeah! What is this? Oh yeah! Boom bite! There we go! Didn't take long at all! Woohoo! Ah, oh, yeah! Look at this beauty! You see that? What a beauty! On the Samaki Boom Babe. Happy days! Well friends, we've just come back from a long day. I'm going to cook that little tailor that I caught the other day with Portuguese spice. And look what I've done, I've split it up. It's been well butterflied as you can see. Split in half, deboned, and it looks like a beautiful butterfly tailor. You can see the same fish is split in half. They're still joined in the middle down here, but the fish has a tail removed and it's been deboned. So that's a beautiful looking little piece of meat down there. And we're going to try to put this over hot coals. Well, the ingredients are very basic in this recipe. You need a nut garlic. Uh, slice the garlic up and put it in an oil and brown the garlic to make garlic oil. In addition to that, you need a lemon, one from the garden, and most importantly, the delicious Portuguese spice rub, which consists of uh, a mixture of herbs including paprika, turmeric, oregano, salt and pepper, uh, lemon, chilies, and of course black and pepper. Now to this fish which I've carefully butterflied, you will take this delicious Portuguese rub and rub it all over the surfaces of it, plonk it onto this little grill. Here we go, sprinkle some of that spice over the top and the whole ledge and I shall maybe some on this side down here. And that's good. Somewhere on this side here. Okay, and let me rub it in with my fingers and maybe some on the head. Very good. And let's rub this down as though you're massaging someone. All right, let's pop some over my finger and let's rub it in and rub it in like so. Beautiful little fishy. Rub it in like so. A little bit more on this flank here maybe. Okay, that's nice. And maybe a little bit more on this side. Put some on the head area. Okay. Mm -hmm, good, let's do that. Okay, that should do. And then what we might do is to flip the fish over and do it the same on the other side. So let's turn and flip our little fishy over. And again, if you don't mind, my little assistant daughter, if you do that for me again, all over, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. On the side here, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. There we go, beautiful. Mm, okay, maybe then we we'll just sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And maybe some in the head area region here. Maybe not too much in here, we'll just sprinkle a little bit of the spice in here. Right, now. What's next is maybe some salt in a moment. Um, and then we'll put some lem lemon juice. And when the fire is ready, maybe a little bit more on this flank. 
good and that's nice put some on that flag we've got enough on that flank already that should do the job let's plonk this on right now on this cagey thing maybe at an angle like so close the lid like so that's quite nice and then secure our little friend there we go it's all in there and i've got myself a little tennis bracket of taylor ready to make portuguese grilled fish so i think it's going to be a good dish we can only hope and wait and see and don't forget to put some salt and pepper so we'll give that a bit of salt on this side lots of pepper a generous serve of pepper on this side let's flick our fish across and repeat on this side Good out. Well, we're slowly getting the hot coals ready. It's not quite ready yet, but I think it will be ready in a very short time. Mm, still too much yellow flame. Wait for a bit more. Okay, that fire is about ready. Let's have a check on it. Well, still up with the yellow flame, but it's getting there. Now, as you can see, we've got hot red coals. Now, no yellow flame. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So I think it's almost time for us now to put our fish on these hot red coals. A few little yellow embers, but it's ready. Let's go. It's time for us to shine. Might do it the other way first, because that's where I put the oil in there. There we go. Well, I've got that side on. The oil's dripping down. As you can see, as the oil drips down, the flame gets a bit stronger. Oh, here we go. The action begins. Oh, yeah. Sizzle, sizzle. There we go. A bit of lemon now. There you go. Look at that. Now, this is what I call dynamic cooking. Lemon. See that? That's Portuguese. The essence of Portuguese cooking. Cooking. See, there you go. Oh, yeah. Beautiful lemon lemon juice. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's flip our fish. So you can see now the fish is slowly getting cooked. It's getting a bit dark. But if you look at that, that is looking quite quite delicious and moist with the lemon juice on it. We might just flip it over we've just flipped it over that's looking very very nice needs a bit more work but i can see the beautiful glistening oil and garlic all over it so that's really maturing quite nicely because these are my dogs in the background they just love fish okay let's keep going for a little bit more so you can see now the fish is slowly getting cooked. It's getting a bit dark. But if you look at that, that is looking quite, quite delicious and moist with the lemon juice on it. We might just flip it over. Okay, we might take a little bit of this garlic oil and baste it again like so. And do it multiple times on both sides of the fish. garlic oil Good. it's looking very very nice very smoky I think just brown a little bit of the head area to do a bit more charring 
might just round off the head region a little bit more. That's looking nice. That's looking really nice. Sizzle, sizzle. Look at the head of the tailor. Beautiful. I think this is getting very close to the final stages. Look at that. That's looking very, very nice now. And we're getting very, very close. This it's a bit of a frenzy now. Look at that. The action's on now. If you look at that beautiful color, it's the silhouette. Whoa, 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 whoa. Action. Flip it around. Woohoo, yeah. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. I'm actually cooking fish. It looks like a bat that I'm cooking. Look at the beautiful silhouette. That is nuts. Look at that. Like My tail is breathing fire. Look at that. Tail is breathing fire. That is definitely nice and done. Definitely nice and done. Well, I think it's almost chow time. Portuguese hot cold grilled fish. I must say it's the first time I've done that and that certainly looks very delicious. That's the way it's meant to be done in my version at least. Bon appetit. Well I think it's time to taste this beast. I must say I enjoyed cooking. It's been a long day and we managed to whip this up before the end of the day quickly so this is a very simple recipe it took me about five minutes to prep and marinate this fish and it's not too much of a fuss at all so something you can do quite easily at home right let's go and try this thing there you go portuguese spy tailor fish cooked over hot coals and that looks really delicious look at the beautiful skin on this side down here in between head down here now that does look nice as well. Right. right well let's try a little bit of this let's see if it tastes any good mmm oh beautiful flavor beautiful flavor I can taste a rich aroma, spicy, tangy, taste of lemon and the peppers and the paprika. Go try this, very very simple dish, easy to make after a long day's work.